Lynette, Lauren is going to have to stop doing these stories with cookies in them when there's still like 40 minutes left in the newscast here. Because what am I supposed to do now? I can't go to Dundalk getting cookies right now. I have to go later. I know. I am so with you. I'm starving <laughs> at this point. <laughs> As we go through the rest of today, Kristen, we are going to be cold. We might need a warm beverage with those cookies, that's for sure, this morning and this afternoon. You guys know my warm beverage of choice. That cocoa sounds so good this morning. As we go through the rest of today, we are going to see a nice mix of sun and clouds. We won't really be dealing with the snow showers that we had early this morning and that we had yesterday and that wintry mix that moved through. As that area of low pressure continues to pull away with that cold front and we're looking pretty good up and down the eastern seaboard even across the upper Midwest looking good across that area this morning and for today and you know why you see it that area of high pressure and even back off towards the west so double barrel high pressures will continue to move in here and that is going to provide us with a little more sunshine for today but behind that cold front boy have we dropped those temperatures off we have a freeze warning in effect until 10 o'clock for the areas there shaded in the purple coloring. So we're looking at the eastern shore for this morning. And as we move throughout the day, temperatures will bump up a bit, but not where they should be. Our lows now, we can see teens back off into western Maryland. Good morning, Deep Creek. Make sure you put on several layers before you head out and about. As we slide further off towards the east around Manchester, 27 degrees there, 30 and have a grace this morning. So sub freezing temperatures. And that is the reason why we actually do have that freeze warning in effect for the eastern shore this morning. The winds making things even worse out there out of the northwest at about 5 to 15 miles an hour sustained winds and we'll have gusts today up to about 30 miles an hour. So we are dealing with the wind chill. So this morning we're feeling more like the 20s and by this afternoon we will feel more like the 30s. I'm forecasting the mid 40s for today, upper 40s, but we will feel like the 30s and that's the important thing. So you have the layers on this morning, keep the layers on this afternoon. I would grab the sunglasses for today as well, as we will have sun and clouds uh, peeking through as we go through the rest of today. It is going to be a very chilly day on tap, and if you want to change that chilly to cold, I don't blame you. As we head towards your Saturday, we will be more seasonal though, but that 57 is still below average now for this time of the year. We should be at 60 degrees. 60 sounds good now, right? And we will surpass that as we head into your Easter Sunday with temperatures in the upper 60s and 70s after that.